Hello, I'm Kale, and welcome to Slate the Spire. Uh, this is mostly just an experiment, uh, for my own sake. I'm seeing how I do with, uh, potentially recording, uh, some kind of series of me, uh, playing video games and talking into the void. The void being anyone else that happens to see this. Who knows, it could even be you. Uh, anyway, I'll get to it here. Uh, I am, side note, not extremely good at this game. I'm a 4 on Watcher, a 6 on Defect, 9 on Silent, and 11 on Ironclad. I find Ironclad to be the easiest to play. Uh, 6 HP per combat's nothing to sneeze at. So... You know, I, I, I'm i not, like, I, I will just be honest, I, I am not the best at this game, but we're, we're gonna take a, we're gonna give it a shot. And again, this whole thing is more of a experimental experience for me, I've never tried uh, just recording something like this on my own before. So, let's get into it. I really don't want to just have a curse in my deck. Like we we could get something like Hand of Greed or whatever that would like give us some really good uh gold, like some good options in the shop early game potentially, but you know, then I'm just wanting to spend 75 gold on a removal for the curse anyway. We could just get 100 gold or we can get a random rare. I'm not opposed to the random rare. We could see something that kind of gives us a sort of direction that we want to take our deck in. Like, if we get something like Demon Form, then we'd be like, okay, so how do we get, like, fourth energy, or how do we make this, uh... How do we get a turn where we can play this and not just take a bunch of free damage for spending all of our energy on it? That kind of thing, or, you know, maybe we get Corruption or something, and, and we try to do a Corruption build. Uh, I think I'm just going to take it easy here. I'm going to go for the simple 100 gold. No downside. Opens up kind of our options. Uh, we see a shop. Might have a good relic. We could try this early one, or we could wait for when we have even more money. I like to try to get the Flame Elite as early as possible, but, you know, it's like four combats here three combats here. This could also be a combat. Got a combat right after it. And it looks... Yeah, and then there's these here. So I think I might just take it easy, try to get this Flame Elite in the next act. Take it easy for now. I like getting a lot of early rooms, because uh, potentially see those events that are like remove a card, or transform a card, or upgrade a card, or whatever, do stuff with the deck. Thin it out, upgrade it, change it. All kinds of fun stuff there. We got some... fine pathing, more or less. I think we'll start here, and hit these two rooms, and then do this fight, and then here we'll decide, like, okay, do, yeah, we'll just start like that. I'm not going to plan the whole thing out right away. Okay, small and medium slimes. Yeah, and right now I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, how much of this do I want to talk out? Uh, how do I kind of fill the air, right? Because, like I said, I've never recorded anything like this before. I've never tried making a, a series of videos or even a video before. <laughs> so I really uh, just don't know what I'm doing. You know, I don't like. Yeah. So I'm just experimenting here. Uh, maybe someone out there will find this entertaining, maybe not. Uh, so far, this is mostly just for myself. <laughs> but who knows? Ooh, here, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. So, this is one that's going to cost us some HP, and it's random. 
But honestly, as long as it hits, like, one of these, or even, like, if it hit, like, double defense or whatever, because honestly, I, I take an upgraded defend. Defend plus, that three extra block for the same energy is really nice this early. I'll take it. We got burning. Okay, cool. We got burning blood to get the HP back potentially. So I feel I feel really good about that. Ah, and look. Okay, another event. Exactly another one I was thinking of. I'm thinking. <clears throat> what am I thinking? I like to try to keep the deck really thin super early, because removals. I I I tend to highly value removals. So I can spend my gold on things that aren't removals. I guess I should specify, I, I highly value removals from events. Like, ways you can remove cards that aren't from the shop. Uh, so I think I'll remove a strike. We have the pommel strike, and we're going to be picking up better attacks as we go anyway. So I feel fine doing that. And we'll head into this combat. Okay, two louses, and they're both attacking on the first turn. And we drew five block. Okay. Uh, eight. We could do math, right? So nine and six. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wait, but the... Yo, I'm dumb. I forgot about curl up completely. Oh gosh, I can already feel uh, the fact that I have like this uh, imaginary audience in my head. Like, oh my god, the people are going to be watching this. I can feel my brain just shutting down. I'm just like, I'm gonna be really bad at the game now. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit dramatic, but... Well, we're doing okay on health. I'm not hurting too bad. Oh, I love that upgraded pommel strike. So good. Fairy in a Bottle makes me very happy to see. Um, I'm gonna take Iron Wave here. And the reason I'm gonna take Iron Wave is because it's classified as an attack, but it gives us block, and I'm doing that for the sole reason of if we fight Gremlin Knob, it'll at least give us a bit of uh, damage reduction without playing a skill. Because uh, that makes him very angry when you do that, and we don't want to make the gremlin knob angry. And we could go right for more rooms. So room elite, and then we could rest our room. Uh, we could go left, do another fight, and then rest. And then fight rest, and we could do this elite. I want to I wanna do at least one elite. And if we go here, we might be able to do two. Actually, we're going to have to do two, unless we pivot to this way after the chest. Two elites. I feel good right now, but who knows if that's going to stay that way after this elite. If we feel bad after this elite, we could hit this fire, and then if we get like really good power here, and we're not too hurt, we could go left and like face this other elite. We'll see. Um, I think I'll go this way regardless, and we'll figure out the rest from there. Let's see what we get here. Ah, okay. I always want to go for the max HP because I'm just like, ugh, big number. But the healing is nothing to sneeze at either. Let's see, we're at 53, so that's what? 50, 60, 70, plus... Yeah, so that, that pretty much heals us to full. So a full heal or max HP. I'll just take the heal. Almost full heal. It makes us less likely to... <laughs> makes us less likely to need the fire after this fight. But, uh, you know, it being gremlin knob and all. Oh man, this guy makes me feel like I'm an idiot. Like, I always just take so much damage against him. And I just feel like I have no idea what I'm fucking doing in this game. I just... I don't know. I don't know... I, can't, I, I never know, like, when I should just give him strength and block. If if ever. And I'm just... I just... Uh, he just makes me feel so... Unintelligent. 
I never know quite what to do against this man. I am very glad for these upgraded attacks, though. Okay, looks like we get out of here not taking too much, assuming I draw 9 damage in this hand, which I do. Uh, Pantograph is very nice. I'm very happy to see Pantograph. Uh, makes us require even less healing. Uh, so we can kind of be a little bit more liberal with our HP. I don't like spending two, but I like Uppercut itself. I'd be more inclined to take Sword Boomerang if we had some kind of strength, like if we even if we had just like an inflame or something. Uh I mean it's not it's still not a bad card by any means. Three by three, you know, unupgraded, that's already like a strike if they all hit the same one and it's sorta of like an AoE. I will take the uppercut though. Because uh we upgrade this thing and we get some pretty decent value out of it. I feel. I like it better than Bash, anyway. Alright, let's see what this room gives us. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, I really like Clockwork Souvenir. I think Artifact is really good to have. Um, could take the Bomb if I'm worried about dealing like big damage to a large group. But that's like all of our money. Well, not all of our money, but it's a lot of our fucking money. And we'd be passing up on Souvenir. I'm not sure. You know what? I, I will take the bomb strictly because I don't take it very often. And I want to. And it's kind of as simple as that. You can't really stop me. I'm, I'm on the loose. I cannot be contained. And uh, I'll pick up armaments too. It's block, and it lets us uh, fix some cards. Okay, I feel fine. We'll see what's in this chest. Blood vial. I like the value. Could see that uh, one event. Although I think if I remember right, it's like it's this. It's the same but it doesn't take your max health. I don't remember if it still removes the strikes, though. Not off the top of my head uh, do I remember that. I will go left here. I think we're okay to fight that elite. Oh no! Jawworm! Terrifying. Alright, well, it was good knowing you guys. Look at this thing, an absolute fucking beast. A horrifying monstrosity. Who knows what dark machinations this creature has in store for us, you know? Oh no, I didn't block, it dies. I really like power through. I really like it. I think it's a really strong card. It's one for like a ton of block. And like we can I know we saw fire breathing before in the shop and didn't take it, but you know. There there's things we can do with the wound potentially. You just got to know when to use it. Don't just use it willy-nilly cuz obviously you're going to flood yourself with wounds, but I still think it's a really good pickup. So I am happy to take power through power through here. Okay. Um, I don't think we play the bomb here. I think we take it easy. Just hit him. Just hit the man. Okay. I think I'll armaments this defend. That's 13. What would I potentially miss? Uh, just do the extra damage. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Did you? Did you see th what happened to those cards there? What? <laughs> huh. Okay. I will give him weak, and 
we will deal damage and block. I, I love Iron Wave as a common, it's it's nice. I'm sure it's not the best card in the game, but it just makes me happy to play it. Uh, and we hit him in the face. Snuck oil. Uh, I should. I should mention. I think Snuck oil is a good potion. It's you draw five, and even if you're at zero energy, you could potentially play some of those cards. But just the 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 randomness of it just makes me very unhappy, and I. I never feel good when I take Sneko Oil, but sometimes it can really come in handy. But then, like, those randomized costs are just how those cards are for the rest of the combat. So it, it's... it's... it's tough, right? Like... I'm not good enough at this game to tell you if my opinion that it's good is correct. I think it's still good but I just don't want to take it. I don't want to... Oh, but it could be... Mm. Plated armor? How much do I want for plated armor? What What are we getting into here? This guy... Okay, get in here, Sneko. Well, I hate your ass, but you're coming in here anyway. Uh, that makes it 50. Upgrade Flame Barrier. The increased thorns and the increased block makes it really valuable in my opinion. Okay, these clowns. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a turn one bomb against these guys. Sure. Get this guy below 40 so it kills him. Don't mind if I do. Now we just gotta try to not take as much damage. And we just bide our time until this thing blows up. I gotta tell you, uh, it is probably just a case of me not being very good at the game, but I, ha I, I historically I have had some very unpleasant combats against these things in the past. Like sometimes with like certain at s in certain states of the deck that I find myself in by the time I fight these things, uh, it just. <laughs> Sometimes it just really doesn't go well for me here. Uh, Darkstone, Periapt. I mean, there's you know, there's no reason not to click it here, but like, I'm I'm not gonna get much use out of it. I'm not gonna like willingly take a curse under most circumstances. Uh, do the twenty-five percent and. Do we win a 50-50? I mean, like... We don't... Do we die to Lagavulin here? Wait, is it always Lagavulin? Gosh, my memory. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, early red key. Early red key. Didn't get any other keys this act, so... And Pantograph healing with the blood vial. I feel good. I feel good. All right, the guardian. This guy is funny to me. Uh, the 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 mode shift is just kind of like. Oh, you're about to do twenty-seven. Let's see. So eight brings that down to one, and then nine plus fifty percent of itself. By the way, you, you, the viewer here, will find that I am exceptionally terrible at math. Even like basic, simple math. Like, I don't know if Bash Strike Plus does 13 damage past this guy's block right now. I don't. I don't know if it does. <laughs> and I don't want to spend all day here figuring it out. We have the health. I don't care if this goes terribly. Oh, yeah, wait, no, yeah, that's. He's already vulnerable. He takes 12 from the bash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm actually a genius. Never mind. 
You just can't comprehend my fat intellect. Alright, let's get some block. Get some more block to hit it. And take one. I mean, we're full health. I, I, I'm not too worried about min-maxing our, our hit points a whole lot here. Eight times two. Yeah, yeah. Just do the power through. Take another one. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you love to see it. Get fucked, Guardian. Oh, that's so satisfying. Do uppercut cleave. Ah, oh, nice. A little 20 damage on the bomb there. Mm, might as well. And then we can armaments up one of our blocks for later. But yeah, uh, I am, I am a big fan of Slay the Spire. I think it's a really good game. Uh, despite my, uh, low skill at it, uh, I have played it for a long time, believe it or not. Um, but I, I historically never tried all that hard to get good at this game. Um, I sort of just did whatever and never really paid attention to like, okay, why did this work? Why didn't this other thing work? I just sort of clicked on cards and uh, I never tried being really self-aware about what I was doing. This, I'm getting some Severe deja vu here. I really am. Hmm. That turn felt familiar. And like, don't get me wrong, I still very much consider myself uh, a casual when it comes to this game and games like it. I like to try to climb whatever their uh, Meta progression ascension like system exists. I like to, you know, try to play at the highest level as best I'm able to, but I I will not say that I am good at this game. I will not say that I know a lot about this game. Um, I will say that I'm gonna drink the Sneko oil and hope we get some zero costs. Uh, sure. I don't know why I'm good. It doesn't matter. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. I forgot about the other bomb. Uh, don't, don't look at that. Don't talk to me about that. Okay. I don't like barricade. Like, I've done, like, a single barricade run that ever worked and I've done like two other barricade runs ever besides that and you can guess how those went we don't have any strength existing to double and I don't know how I feel about taking it prospectively we could just not see a strength card I mean there's like tons of strength cards but still offering is just good that's all I gotta say to that Oof. <laughs> okay Sozu, I I re I like potions. I gotta tell you, I like potions. Sozu doesn't let me have potions. Philosopher's Stone makes me very afraid um, of fighting the Heart of the Spire if we get that far. Uh, going from three times fifteen to four times fifteen is horrifying. Um, 
The energy is really nice, but I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But tiny house is just... <laughs> it's not great. I'm not going to tell you tiny house is good. As far as I know. But I mean, hey, what do I know? I'm just going to do the meme pick of tiny house. Armaments plus... Yeah... I'd feel better about second wind if we were doing like some something with exhaust. I mean, it's not it's not a bad card. Actually, this could exhaust uh, wounds we're getting from the other one. This is if we upgrade this, it's like more targeted though. But this can hit multiples at once. It can also hit like uh, burns or slimes or whatever in combats that we have those. Uh, I'm just worried about burning cards that we don't want to burn. I mean, this can still do that if we don't get an opportunity to upgrade it, but... I think, I think I'll just take Trugit. I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on this screen. We're at 20 cards, so I'm going to start being a little more choosy about what we add to this deck. I don't know if I have the wrong idea here, but I really like to try to keep the deck under 20 if I'm able to, or like under, or like at, like 20 or less, right? I feel like that's a good number. I, um, I am just making that up completely though, to, to, to level with you here. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but hey, you know, whatever, it's my show. You don't pay my sub. All right. <laughs> Three fights all in a row, and then potentially two more if the game feels like just being really funny. And then we see this Flame Elite. Ugh, I don't want to do this in Act 3. And it's not like we can't survive three fights in a row, but man, if these don't go well, I am not going to be happy walking into this Flame Elite. I don't feel particularly like, super strong here. We've kind of just been playing the bomb. So I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I could always just try the Act 3 Flame Elite, but then we really just have to, you know, play the, the cards we're dealt, so to speak. Who knows? Maybe, maybe by the time we're in Act 3, we'll get some, like, crazy high roll and be feeling really good about ourselves. Just go for the Act 3 Flame Elite. So real quick, I'm gonna uh, do the the strategy of lose all my money to these twerps. Tried and true strategy here. Very, very tactical. I'm debating if I want to just play Offering. We can play like a Bash with the energy it gives us. Or we could pick up Bomb if we draw it or something. I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay, Cleave is fine. Does damage to both of them. Get the lower one for more. Sure, 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 sure. Wait, I have the... Ugh, I didn't need to play that defend. We would have had an extra energy there. Oh, uh, actually, we only had three left of... Eh. I'm not going to spend too much time on that thought. Oh, no! Right, that's right. We didn't upgrade it. I was going to be like, I'm going to target the curse. That's not upgraded. <laughs> Taking a bit of damage, but what can you do? Bomb does 40, and there's no way they block more than that, right? Yeah, it should kill them this turn. Right? Like I'm not crazy? I always second guess myself when I say anything with any kind of certainty. 
Yeah, okay. As I said, I do not consider myself to be any kind of authority on this game, so... I will probably say things that are incorrect. If you know better than me, uh, which I'm sure you do, then don't correct me. I will cry. Sensitive like that. All right. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna blow our offering load all over the place here. I really don't like that these are buffing right off the bat here. I want to try and interrupt uh, one of them, at least. So we'll hit this guy a bunch. Uh, this one will just disarm. Dip that in the bud. Kaka. I don't know if, if any of you notice, like, a, a lot of the bird-themed things in the Spire, there's, like, these dudes, there's the Chosen, the, the guys that, like, hex you, there's the cultists that go, like, kaa, kaa and they, like, do ritual, there's the Awakened One, which is, like, the Act 3 boss, there's a bunch of that going on here. I don't know, there's a lot of little things I kind of, I'm just gonna actually play the game and talk at the same time. Wow. Um, a lot of little things like that one might notice in this game. It's nice. This game is really a good game. I enjoy it a lot. <laughs> I love shit like Flame Barrier or Thorns. Uh, against these guys. It's just so funny to me. This guy is just gonna fucking obliterate himself. He's just gonna zero times six himself into the fucking stratosphere. Yeah, get fucked. And they die. Just end turn. It's that easy. Uh... Another Iron Wave is okay, but I do want to try to not flood our deck with too much random crap. I mean, there's always, like, we can get removals further in, but... I'm... I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'm past the point where I would pick an Iron Wave. This event is good, but I don't think my brain is big enough to... Oh, gosh! Oh no! <laughs> I guess we're doing it. That that was just that is called I accidentally click on the thing anyway. So this is an apparition run now. I'm gonna try to upgrade those as fast as I can. Uh sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Hey, those exhaust, right? How do I feel about that? Oh god, that just added a bunch of cards to our deck. Give me this. Give me decks. Give me removals now. Jeez. Uh, remove one of the... Defends. Okay, not exactly how I planned for things to go, but hey, you know, just upgrade these and we'll be fine, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go left. All right, okay. How does this make me feel? This makes me feel fear. Mostly fear. Um, it will disarm this man. It seems valuable. Oh yeah, I took that Dark Embrace too. I should probably upgrade that at some point. Hmm. 
Okay. Just give me the offering. Why did I play the Dark Embrace after? I don't know. I might be bad at this game. I mean, with, with the energy costs, we would have uh, been out with by the time we drew those things anyway. Like, if I played it the, that exact same way. I think we play the one with Ethereal just to keep up our blockage here. Um, the blockening. Do I Africa? No. I'm not worried about applying weak when they only deal one damage, so just take the higher damage per energy. Although with this low max HP, taking three is still uh, significant either way. Oh, nice. Okay. I think we still play the Apparition. These guys attack every turn anyway. So we just keep up our uh, intangible as long as we're able to. These guys also give me a lot of trouble too. I feel like uh, they really punish you for being bad at the game. Which is good. You know. It's it's good that you lose for being bad, especially on Ascension. Uh, yeah, that's no good, huh? Even with the potion, he lives at one. And we're out of intangible. I think we're just out of intangible. No, we got more. I am not feeling safe, though. Uh, we can't kill him next turn, either, because of the entangled! Oof. Oh dear. Get me out of here. Oh, we do kill him, actually. I'm a genius, but still. And we even block a majority of the damage we would have taken. Okay. It's not the end of times. Though they fast approach us. And, and here, here's a prime example of what you're gonna see uh, about me being not very good at this game. I mean, okay, taking the apparition by accident, misclicking it, sure. You know, fine. Whatever. I wasn't prepared to play things out this way, but I am not sure how much better we would have done otherwise. I'm not going to blame Apparition, because Apparition is good. I feel. Uh, I should have... If I would have uh, played the Strength Potion there, we would have lived. I uh, forgot we had the Fairy, but also I had forgotten... <laughs> That we were weakened. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Just, just, uh, just don't worry about that. It's okay. Although we did not get much value out of that fairy by virtue of we have nothing for max health, and it's percent based. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh man. Uh, it's. <laughs> I just saw this! <sighs> Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, this is what I get. This is what I get. God, do I just play the bomb? I don't think so. You just, just hit him. Oh, man. Finally. Okay. I don't know how, but we're still in it, boys. 
<sighs> oh, can't throw the run any more than I already have. Oh well, throwing the run is fun. You gotta throw for content. We still got a whole other act after this. Plus the rest of this act, so it's not like we won't get value out of Maw Bank. Sure. Sure. I'm happy to take Maw Bank here. Cult is chosen. Right. Okay. Disarm you. Could Kaka. I don't think we need to here, but we could. Armaments, nice. Now we can hang on to these. Our whole damage plan right now really is just play the bomb and try not to die in the meantime. Oh god, offering just got way scarier to play, I just really...
like uh, like any other human being. Uh, really wish we had six more damage that turn. That that shit right there is just the worst when you're just like a couple damage off from finishing it a turn early and you take extra damage for it. Oh my god, I know I said I was going to take less cards. And then I stopped paying attention and we're at... Well, how did that... Oh yeah, I kept taking cards after I accidentally took uh, five apparitions. <laughs> That's how that happened, I remember. Alright. Okay. Uh, we get swole. No, I think we really just need to grind out these upgrades. I really find this to be very important, because we need to be able to not worry about losing those apparitions if we draw them on turns we don't necessarily want to play them. Not taking a curse for no reason. Two left to upgrade. Give me some strength. I feel like... I feel like it'll be nice into the upcoming boss, just to have that one strength, one dex makes things makes things nice. I don't know if I want to float feed for the whole like 314 health left in the fight to get it on the boss, but who knows? Play apparition block. Yeah, just you know how it is. Actually, we could kaka here. I think I will, actually. I think I will Kaka. I think it is a good idea. I should have had this thought on turn one, but... I love that. I fucking love that. It's the best thing in the whole game. Just the fact that when you drink that potion, you go Kaka is just amazing to me. I know there's like that event you can get, uh, like the good face, bad face one, where you could potentially get uh, one of the faces that just makes you caca at the start of fights, and you got like a cultist head, or whatever. Kill this thing. Get our Infernal Blade Reckless charge. Sure. And Dark Embrace. I'm scaling. Oh gosh, oh fuck. Uh offering, get me out of here. No! We need an apparition in a bad way. Do I waste... I think I burn this disarm, because he's just going to artifact it. I think we burn the disarm and try to just try grasping at straws here. Try to fucking pull an apparition. Thank fuck. Okay. Okay, I feel, I feel better now. Sure, sure. We'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do that and we'll be happy with it. Hyperbeam, one. Man, I don't know what I was worried about. The, the dude's big bad attack only did one damage. Uh, I think again we just go for Apparition here. Deal 12 back to him. Uh, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you how many more of those we have, but I'll really do my best to try to use the rest of them sparingly, but, you know, we <laughs> we only have so much HP to work with, and uh, yeah, that 20 times 2 is not looking too hot. Are we dead? Wait a minute. That's 40. We have 33. Oh, man. Does it? I think it applies. It tries to weak first. 
and we get the vulnerable, I think. If I know how, if the cards, that's how that works, right? Top to bottom. So he would he would artifact the weak and get the vulnerable, which is not what we want, because we want to reduce the damage he's dealing to us. So I think we just block as best as we're able. Mm, we're still in it, I think. Okay. Just hit him in the face. Ooh. Getting there. I don't think, sadly, that we're going to be able to get the feast on him, but... Oh, fuck! Wait, are we out of apparitions? We have this one here. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> and again, order. Top to bottom. I think this is it, guys. I think this is it. The consequences of my actions. Ah, uh, yep, and that's how it goes. That is how these go. Okay, well, you know, obviously you can't win them all. How do I feel about that run? I am not intelligent enough to tell you, uh, necessarily what went right and what went wrong here. Um. It just feels like I should go to the run summary for anyone interested in looking at this. Uh, again, I do not consider myself to be an authority on this game. Um, yeah, I, I feel like accidentally clicking on Apparition without a plan, uh, it certainly messed with my head a little bit. Um, I, I struggled with this, uh, with, in my thinking of how to play things out. I don't think it was necessarily a bad thing to happen, uh, but it definitely threw me for a loop. <laughs> uh, I feel like we didn't have a really good damage plan. Uh, I think... Our, our whole thing was just play the bomb and try not to die, and our try not to die was just power through and some defense. And just, we just, we didn't have a whole lot going for us, and I feel like, yeah, there's probably definitely things I could have been doing about that. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, if you are a person watching this, I will thank you for watching. Uh, I am just going to end this here because I, I don't feel like doing this again right now. Certainly not in the same recording session. This is not something I've uh, really done before. Uh, thank you for bearing with me on, on this uh, experimental little journey together. Um, I've been Kale, and this was... Slay the Spire. I might see you next time. Have a good one.